For I am the voice in the night, the lone victor on the ladder of death. I am Steve! <laughs> What's up, Happy Gamers? I'm Happy, the Happy Gamer, and welcome back to Glitched. I know I said this in the last two episodes, but I am fairly certain that this will be the last episode we do for the Glitch demo. I'm pretty sure we're gonna end it this time. Of course, I don't know for sure. Like, if we don't end it in this episode, then this is a really long demo. But, you know, really, I've only actually played for about an hour and 19 minutes, so... That's not too bad. You know, that's not too bad for a demo. But we have Tack now, and we have Bebo, and we're just going, and I forget where I am right now. I'm in Covewood, but I'm just trying to remember where to go. Yes, there's another path up there that we're going to go up to. Now, hopefully this isn't, like, an extremely short video. Hopefully I didn't cut it off in the last episode right before this demo was about to end. But we'll find out, I guess. What's up, Bebo? Quick. Quick. <laughs> hmm, if only we had a place to bring this Bebo. Is this a birdhouse? Offer an item to the shrine. Okay, sure. How about a, how about a cheeseburger? <laughs> Ayo, I am Kuro. I am the younger spirit who watches this forest. You have left me a tasty treat. It's perfect, so juicy. You'll find another shrine deep within this forest. Since you've given me a gift, I will give you this. Strange offering, yes! What does a strange offering do? <laughs> when you find that shrine, leave this offering. If you do, you will meet Koda. Koda is the elder spirit of the forest. Koda might be able to help you out of this forest. I can tell you're a traveler on your way through this forest. You should go and talk to Koda. Just try not to disturb the forest. Koda isn't a big fan of that. Aya. Oh, Goodbye. See you later, man. All right, well, let's find Koda then. He can help us out of Covewood. Ooh, chest. What's in the chest? And what's that on the ground over there? Is that a bug or? That's weird. A treasure chest, open it. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's a note inside. Did you really think someone would just leave a chest filled with treasure in the middle of a forest? You're not very bright. You feel agitated. Well, that's what happens in other games. Chests are just left in the middle of the forest. What is this? That's what I was thinking. Tiny boy. <laughs> Let's pick him up, I guess. Hey, tiny boy. We picked up the tiny boy. That's really strange. So far, this is a really weird episode. <laughs> What's this? Aliens? Return, tiny boy. Oh, it's a little tiny village. I can step on the village. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that at some point. Whenever this game actually comes out, we'll do a couple playthroughs, and I'll do one where I'm nice and one where I'm really mean. You hear tiny cheers. <laughs> what? Okay. They all cheered because the tiny boy came back to town. Ooh, what's this? Is this Coda? Hello, Mr. Owl. Um, hello? No, it's Strix. Stumbling, bumbling, what cosmic fate to find yourself so stuck, so lost? Between two dreams, your presence may bring one or another luck. But both must see that spirits be at work in this forest. It is those forgotten souls whose fortune is the poorest. A curse? A plague? Something back from whence it came. The remnants of the past still echo in a place like this, an origin point lost in time. Young child of water, take the time to examine everything along the way and you'll never make it out. I sense in you essences asleep, waiting. Such a strange, strange boy. Again, we will meet. I'm sure of that. Yes, we will, sir. This stuff is too weird for me. Quack. <laughs> it is really weird. There's a lot of weird stuff happening right now. I've been seeing these stars on those trees. Let's examine this one. You take some flakes off of the star. No, all I did was examine it. I didn't take a piece off of it. Okay, so what do we do now? Do we... That's interesting. Alright, well... What are we gonna do with the star? A tree! There's a star stuck in the leaves. And it looks like the other one. What do we need to do with the star? Tell me, someone! Tell me! Tell me what we must do! I need to know! Tammy, Tammy, Tammy! Did we go down here yet? Now why would this stump be here? Man, how great is that? <laughs> this is a stump. How great is that? There's another tree with a star in it. Ah, tree! Amazing! Okay, you're exaggerating just a little bit. Oh, no, no, there's this other star down here that has a piece broken off of it. Let's put it... Let's put the pieces that we got. A star? 
That bug broke a piece off. What a weird forest. No, can we not add a piece to that star? Well, do we need to find what's his name? The spider? Hmm. Tell me what we must do, little ones. Let's look at the big tree. Whoa, this tree is huge! Oh, calm down, it's just a tree. Yeah, we already looked at that one in the last episode. <laughs> oh, there's a path over here. I didn't even know that. Check it out. Yay! And there's another star over here. An old ruin. Who knows? Uh, that's not what I was looking at. What the heck? There we go. The star glows gently. Well, see, I, I said examine it closely last time, and it went ahead and broke a piece off. See? <laughs> All I did was examine it, and it still broke a piece off. That's interesting. Oh, it's the spider friend! Dennis! Nadette, I owe is tearing my family apart, so I am out here selling items. Please, just buy something. Starflakes, cosmic cologne, weird berry, and slime in the jar. And he's angry. 50 damage to all foes. 25 HP. Applies taunt and starflakes. Should I... Buy something from him just to help him out. I kind of feel like I should. Let's buy a weird berry from him. Okay, there I bought something from you. Is that gonna help you out? Please come again. You are saving my children by buying this crap. Can I steal your stuff? <laughs> okay, so I just literally bought crap from him. He, he told me, Oh my gosh, it's a master sword! A sword in a stone and engraving reads... Demise ahead! Oh, is this Dark Souls? <laughs> okay. There's Demise ahead. This one's crumpled apart. What does this gravestone say? A gravestone! The name is faded out. Can we read this one? Nope. Alright, well. There's nothing else we can do with Dennis. I don't really want to buy anything anymore, buddy. I'm sorry. Hopefully uh, everything works out with your family. What's up here? What is... Yes, let's offer an item to the shrine. Um, what was it they gave us? The strange offering. Kura! You have brought me a... I thought it was Koda. A Selric or Kelric offering. I am Kura, the elder guardian spirit of the forest. You have disturbed these lands. Kovwood and the beings who reside here are not a tool for you to use. Therefore, I cannot help. Leave here immediately. Continue to disturb this forest and you will fall upon an unfortunate fate. Can I disturb you again? No. Okay, what's over here? Cat. Hello! Your friend is with me. How do you feel about that? Halt! Tech, have you abandoned your duties? You know that the queen will punish you for what you've done. Gar, the queen is up to something and she is using you in order to achieve her goals. It matters not. What? The queen has given me a home and a purpose. To serve her, I will go to any means. Even if it means cutting you down, Tack. You can't mean that. Take your human friend and back away or I will stop you. Happy. He must be guarding Queen Miz and exit to Covewood. I know he's Tack's friend, but the queen has come between them. What should we do? Um, let's ask Tack what to do. Tack, what should we do? Gus, we have to get through. Okay, God, I'm sorry. I cannot follow the Queen's rule any longer. You have made your choice, just as I have made mine, friend. Alright, well we're gonna just talk with him until he decides not to fight us anymore. Interact! Choose a way, let's pet him. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't want to be pet. He's one of those cats. A typical cat. Step on his tail. You will pay for your crimes. I kind of wanted to name him Antonio Banderas, for some reason. Uh, let's talk calmly. The time for talking is over, traitor. Alright, let's try it one more time. Stare at him. He stares back with anger in his eyes. Let's stare at him again. It, it seemed to work where, with tack, so... He stares back. <laughs> Crap! Poor tack is dying. Let's give the weird berry to tack. Um, let's pet him again. Okay, he's angry still. Let's, um... Uh... Let's try talking calmly again, okay? That won't work either. Let's step on his tail again. You'll pay for your crimes. Let's step on his tail one more time. 
pay for your crimes. Okay, so interacting is not changing anything. It's interesting. Maybe we have to fight with him until something changes. Pierce, catnap. Don't tell him how cute he is. Spear throw. All right, let's do this. Stick him with the pointy end. Cool guy punch. Oh boy, here it comes. Bam! Healing feather, heals a friend for 40. Ooh, we need that. Heal tax. Yay, tax healed. Cat, ooh, he took a cat bath and recovered defenses. Aim for the weak spot. Cheap shot. Yay. Uh, healing feather's still cooling down. Let's stun him. Yay, paralyzing quack. Oh, he can't be stunned. Uh, let's do this. Gain some HP, that's nice. Peck! And then... Cheap Shot! Healing Feather on... Let's do a heal Healing Feather on Gus. Yay! Ouch! Don't hurt Bebo, you piece of crap! Catnap. We're gonna sleep and heal ourselves real quick. That'll be nice. Keep our HP up there. Be nice. Uh, burn Foes. Okay, that'll be nice. Give him a little burn, give him some some damage over time. Peck, get him, Bebo. Call to pause, uh-oh. That's not good. Cool guy punch. Bam. To die for my queen, or lay down my life for her. Okay, see, now I can mercy him. Mercy, you weakly. Gus and friends won the battle. Oh, sorry. I will have to retreat. Come any further and the queen will crush you. Tack, you traitor. All right, so we're not gonna go that way yet because there were like a few other paths that we could take and I wanna make sure I don't miss anything. Up ahead is the Kelric Wall or Selric, I don't know. I know there's an exit to Covewood through the wall, but I don't know, do we really have to go through? Do we really have a choice? Oh, I'm not even using the voices, I'm sorry. I guess if there's no other way through, let's just stay close together, okay? Well, we can go the other way. We were able to mercy the guy, so we can actually get that way. Yeah, this is the way we wanted to go, because these guys are up here, and I want to talk to them. Zim, Zam! Oh, it's you, Tack. You brought a human with you. What are they doing in Covewood? This, this is my friend, Gus. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hey, Zam, get a load of this guy. Pretty lame. Listen, I am going with Gus to Gundon. I know you two don't really take your duty seriously. Nope. Not at all. If you don't mind, we just want to take a look at the star. I think the queen might be up to something and are trying to get to the bottom of it. Do whatever you want. We don't really feel like getting involved. <laughs> Can we talk to you guys again? If Jack is going with you, take care of him, okay? He's a weird guy, so you two should get along fine. Gundin? Sounds like a lot of work getting there. Good luck with that, man. Like, I think that was a perfect voice for them. Let's examine it closely, and of course we're gonna take some flakes. All right, we got our star flakes. Now we have to decide, should we go the, through the cave, or should we go the way, like, past where we uh, defeated his friend? I think we're gonna go through the cave. Just, let's just go through the cave. All right, let's go through the cave. Ooh, dark and mysterious. This this place scares me. All the other cats said never to come this way. Quack. If we can make it through, maybe the exit is nearby. It is pretty dark. Whoa! Shelob! How delectable. A plump meal wandering onto its plate. Hey guys, what is that thing? Quack. It's some kind of monster. A monster? A monster? I have a name, you know. The bugs and cats of this forest dare not to speak it. For I am the voice in the night, the lone victor on the ladder of death. I am Steve! <laughs> of course. What? <laughs> Never heard of you. <laughs> Never heard of me. I am dead. I am the darkness. I am destruction. I am pretty hungry. A tango of life and death. Let us dance to it. I am the king of the food chain. 
I will not be dethroned. Here we go, dancing with Steve. Let's interact with, yeah. Interact with Steve. Let's proclaim that we are the darkness. What? No, I am the darkness. I think that that's getting to him, so let's try that again. No, we are the darkness. We went over this. I am the darkness. Everyone hates Tack. Man, poor Tack. Let's try it again. We are the darkness. We went over this. I am the darkness. No, you're not, Steve. You are Steve. Let's laugh at him. What? You think I'm funny? Let's laugh at him again. I will put an end to your laughing. Ooh, heart strike. That hurts. Poor Bebo. Don't beat up on him. Let's cower in fear. I am the darkness. All right, we're gonna have to do some healing pretty quick. Um, let's go ahead and have Tack heal himself with a cat nap. There we go. And interact with Steve again. Swat at him. I wanna consume you. Let's swat at him again. Okay. Ouch. Oh. All right, we gotta do something now. Whoa, we are. Getting hurt, okay. Uh, let's scurry snatch at Steve. Gain some HP. And then, hold on, Bebo, you need to heal up. Healing Feather on, let's go ahead and do it on Gus there. Oh, poor Bebo, he's almost dead. We don't want Bebo to die, that's for sure. Let's cower in fear again. I am the darkness! Okay, so I think this is another one where we're gonna have to fight. Let's do this. I don't want to kill Steve's babies. Oh, poor Gus. Oh, jeez. Gosh dang it, leave Bebo alone! What did he do to you? Let's burn Steve. Oh, that did it to everyone. Alright, it was an AoE. Um, healing Feather's still cooling down. Let's paralyze one of the babies. Oh. Okay, paralyze both the babies. I am dead! Gosh dang it, Bebo needs something. Quick. I probably shouldn't be using those star flakes, but I don't know. Let's uh, do this. Okay, Steve is no longer stunned. Healing feather. Do it, Bebo, you need life right now. Yay, that helped a lot, okay. All right, let's use scurry snatch and gain some HP. Blam, I am destruction. Let's peg Steve. Toxic goo, oh crap. That's not good. Man, hopefully we can make it through this. Crap. It's gonna suck if we can. I didn't save it. <laughs> Should have saved it. Let's throw some litter and blind blind them so they can't see. Oh, crap, we killed the babies. That's not good. Let's do that again. I am getting pretty beat up. Is the interaction gonna change now? Let's proclaim we are the darkness. Are you mocking me? All right, we haven't seen that one before, I don't think. Don't kill Tack! No! Crap, Tack's dead. That sucks. Can we can we heal him still? Dang it! Tack is dead. That sucks. Healing feather and the Bebo. Uh, scurry snatch. Gain some HP. No way. Beat by some weird human. Ugh, whatever. I was never that serious about it anyway. Gosh. Well. I don't know if we could have mercy them. I tried everything I knew. I think I see some light on the other side. Let's go. Man, that sucks. I didn't want to have to kill anybody. Happy. I was crazy back there. I'm surprised we made it through. Listen, I know back in betwixt I asked you kind of a weird question, but I have to ask you again. Why are you doing this? I mean, it doesn't really make any sense. That thing shows up. Above Sarda Hill and Conrad goes missing, then suddenly you appear and I'm the only one who can see you? I mean, besides that weird frog from before. See, there's so much that I don't understand, and I know you have answers, so tell me, what's going on? Whoa! Hold on a second, it's Conrad. Or glitched Conrad. Happy it's him! What's wrong with him? Conrad! He doesn't have a face! It's like Back to the Future. Consume! Happy, tell me what's going on. Why do I feel like you're stuck in my head? 
What aren't you telling me? Tell you the truth, guys, I don't know what I'm not telling you. Glitch has stopped working, press enter to continue. Okay. Again. This again. Hi there. My name is Rebel. We may have met before. Seems that this is where our little journey comes to an end. Is Gus going to figure something out? What will happen in betwixt? Why is there a set called Creamy? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I don't think I can answer your questions. All I have is this message from the bosses. Here it goes. Thank you for playing. That's it? Oh, um, right. On behalf of Frog Inc., thank you for choosing us to experience the world of Soren with. Thank you. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, the credits. Yeah, I guess it's the end of the demo. Ah, I forgot to tell them about... About what? Gosh dang it! Yay! Well, I guess we'll just wait through this and see what happens at the end of the credits. Some weird sounds. Alright, that was it. What happens when we continue? Alright, it's gonna go get us back to where we were. Okay! Well, that was the end of the glitch demo. Uh, we actually finished it in this episode like I assumed we would so that's good Tell me what you guys think don't forget you can download and play the glitch demo support them I think their Kickstarter is about to end, but they're completely funded. So really looking forward to this game and uh, Really props to the developers for for doing what what they've done. It's just been it's been a great experience for me so far, and I hope you've enjoyed it too. All right, guys, I like this video. And if you like this video, please leave me a like, because I would like that. Talk to me in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to stay happy. And of course, I will see you next time. Prison Night sounds like some kind of mineral that Snoop Dogg came up with. Now he's gonna learn it all over again, poor guy. Bam! Let's do this, bud. Don't fall! <laughs>